Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we are going over how to check your graphics card temperature on Linux. So before I start, I want to tell you that there are three different ways you can do this. You can use the command line, and this is going to be your best bet if you have an AMD graphics card, because as far as I know, uh, the NVIDIA graphics uh, app doesn't show you information on that. And the P-Sensor app, I don't have an AMD graphics card, so I can't tell, but P-Sensor feeds in through the command line app, so you may have a good... Uh, a, uh, a good results there, but generally the command line version works best with AMD. But uh, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. I have a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte, and we're going to be working with that. Um, and the app we're going to be using is called P-Sensor. So to install P-Sensor, you're going to want to open up a terminal. And using your package manager, I'm using Manjaro at the moment, so I'm going to be using the Arch Linux package manager. But if you use Ubuntu or any of those other Linux distributions, I cover that in the article below you can find to install that. But you just do, for, for Arch or Manjaro, you could do sudo pacman s p sensor. And you install that, and now it's telling me I already have it, so I don't have to go through the installation. After that, the hard part is done, and I can open up p sensor. Now p sensor is in my tray here, so I can click here. Now, there's no setup. I mean, on some Linux distributions, you're going to want to go through and set up the LM sensors command line app, which is what P sensor uses to feed in. But sometimes it works automatically. It's confusing, but for the best bet, if you're not seeing your graphics card in P sensor, just go through the uh, setup for LM sensors, which is the command line app, and then open up P sensor. But as you can see, my graphics card temperature right here is 47 degrees Celsius. The minimum it is going is 44 and you know, the graph it hasn't shown up on the graph here, but if we wait and we watch it, we can see that it goes up and down and it will be graphed on, on there. And we can also see the RPM fan if I enable that. If I had that enabled, there's also all of this other information on my graphics card that I can enable, enable such as the PCIe uh, RPMs and all of this other stuff. And if I also want to add CPU stuff, I can do that as well. But we're just talking about the graphics card. So P sensor is a great way to just check your graphics card uh, temperature. It should work with every graphics card. I've only got experience with NVIDIA, but given that it feeds in with the command line app, it shouldn't be a problem for AMD guys. But uh, so that's the primary way I recommend it if you want an easy time. But since I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card, we can also look at the NVIDIA X server settings on Linux. So I'm gonna open that up. Now you can only look at the NVIDIA X server settings if you're using the proprietary version of the NVIDIA graphics drivers. So if you're using the open source drivers, you will not see this information. and You will not have this app. But once you've got this open, you can go to thermal settings. And now we can see I have a real time temperature monitor of my graphics card. Generally, my graphics card gets quite hot during these recordings because I'm running a lot of different visual things at the same time, different desktops and monitors and such. But it can give me a real-time readout. So if I just want a bare minimum basic temperature reading, I can open up the X server settings. So that's how you check your graphics card temperature on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.